Yeah, it's nice to finally meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Look, I'm sorry that uh, you had to set this up over the phone, but yeah. I've just been so busy lately. No, it's not a problem at all. You know, when I heard of the phone and saw the pictures, I didn't quite believe it, but this place is pretty big. Uh, it needs a little work, but there's plenty of room. You did hear it was furnished, right? Yeah, all except for my room, right? Well, there's a bed. Come on, I'll show you. Sure. Two bedrooms, two living rooms, one upstairs and one down. Full kitchen in the back. A oh, washer and dryer? No, oh, it's down in the basement. Oh, and the only bad news is, is the only bathroom is upstairs. Well, there's only two of us, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue, should it? It shouldn't be. So I take it this would be my room? Yeah, it's a little odd that it's off the front room, but uh, there's another door in the back, and you can keep this one locked for privacy. Oh. All right, let's take the rest of the tour. Oh, Richard. I'm sorry, I thought you had class today. I was just showing David the place. Oh, well, Mr. Reed, you know there's no class on Sundays. New guy, huh? I'm David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, shit, my daughter. Yeah. Honey? Could you hold on a minute? Richard, are you doing anything right now? No, nah, man, I'm good. I was wondering if you could show David the place. I actually have to go. Yeah, I can do that. I'm so sorry about this, David, but... It's not a problem at all. All right, when you're done with the tour, give me a call, and we'll finalize everything. Sounds good, Mr. Reed. Let me meet Jacob. Kitchen, man, you thirsty? Actually, yeah, what do you got? I got tap water if you don't want beer. Beer's fine. Good for you, man. Water's for pussies. Dude, beer is water. It's not like pussy water, it's dick water. Mmm, always wonder what that tastes like. I figured. So, you've seen the first floor, right? Let's go check up the upstairs. After you? Oh yeah, be careful on these steps, man. I've almost busted my ass a couple times on them. <laughs> How long have you been here? About two weeks. Two weeks, that's it? Yep. <laughs> this here's my room. It's a good time, all the time in there. Yep, them college chicks don't let up as long as you got something they want. <laughs> And this here is the upstairs living room and the bathroom. And that's about it. I heard something about a basement though. Oh shit. Yeah, I'll show you. It's right over here, man. Talk about weird place, man. So what's your story, man? Well, I'm a second semester at Clayton University. The school down the hill? Yep. Right odd. Yeah, I uh, used to live in the city, but I couldn't afford the rent or the commute anymore, so moved here. <laughs> You're not a student, are you? 
All right, I'll tell you the truth since you have an honest face. I do construction and shit around town. I lied to the old man and told him I was a college student. Like you said, cheaper rent, bro. <laughs> All your secrets safe with me, man. Hit. Hit. How you got out of that, no one seems to know. That experience must have been a serious emotional shock. You think I imagined all of it, don't you? You think I'm insane? I didn't say that. I don't mean that. I'm a competent person. If anything, I'm a realist. I'm not given to imagining oh, anything. Oh, right. <laughs> Hey, man, I oh, gotta go. I got a lot of stuff to do. But, uh, never heard two men thank you for being a toy house. Back and imagine they were talking about you. I'll be back in a couple days, that's my stuff. Have you never imagined yeah, you man, nice to have you around, David. We we're gonna have some laughs. I'm sure we are, man. I'm sure we are. The point is this. Our imaginations play tricks on us. They often misinterpret what we see and hear. Do you agree? I suppose so.
last 20 minutes. That's how you play the game, man. Every time they die, you take a shot. All right, I'll make a deal with you. I'll take this shot if you tell me what the hell you were doing earlier. What are you talking about, man? Earlier in the kitchen, I walked in, you were stiff as a board, I put my hand on your shoulder, and you jumped up and you ran the fuck out of the room. All right, I'll tell you what. You take this shot, and I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> Truth is, I'm a little embarrassed, but I had to take a huge shit, and... I feel it's a little early in our relationship to tell you that I'm a toilet clogger. Shit. <laughs> Got it. I'll drink to that. You're really not gonna tell me. Either. I just did. said therapy? I don't need a therapy. They're the ones that therapy. So they offered me some pills. I took them. They couldn't send me to therapy. Are you sure you don't need it? Yep. Hey. Awesome. You know, you always were such a stubborn asshole. You never wanted to admit to being sick or whatever. You sure took those pills that they offered now, didn't you? Mr. Fucking Timber Tantrum. Okay.
You know, you scared the shit out of me last night. I called your name and you just stared out the window. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep seeing things. Wait a minute. You haven't been seeing a, a girl, have you? You saw her? Shit. Long hair? Half blonde? Half black? Long black dress? Things on her face. And those eyes. Those pale white eyes. It's, it's not like she hurts me. She doesn't hurt me. It's just, she's there, always there, staring at me. I think I'm losing it, man. Look, I'm running late for class. But if you need to get out of the house, then do it. But be back here later. We need to figure this shit out. And if I were you, I would start thinking of a better place to live. I don't care how cheap this place is. It's not worth it.
got your message. It sounded urgent. I came over as fast as I could. David, what's wrong? Rich, could you get him a glass of water or something? The girl. What? The girl. Everywhere I go, she, she won't leave me alone. Richard, believe I left my axe all the way out of my car? I go get that. Help! Dude, shut the fuck up. So you still seeing that little prick? What's his name? Alex? Are you serious? What do you mean? Of course I'm serious. We just left my mother, your wife's funeral, and you immediately throw this shit at me? Honey, your mother died of cancer. There's really not much we can do about that. Don't touch me. You never loved my mother. You know, you never really wanted to love us. You've been in our lives a year, and all you've managed to do is fuck everything up and drive my mother to the grave. Could you just hurry up and get us home? I can't stand being in this car with you any longer.
excited. You guys are genius. Or something. It's awesome. Is that him? Could you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. I gotta go. Yeah, it's him. I'll see you in a bit. Bianca, until you turn 18, you're mine. And there's nothing your dead mother, her stupid ass sister in Florida who couldn't give a fuck less about you could do about that. So for the next two years, you will obey me. And to start, you can stop seeing that prick boyfriend of yours. What the hell do you care anyways? You know, that fucker only wants one thing from you, right? Spare me the cliche, all right? Is it really so impossible that he might actually love me? Is that really so unreasonable? Bianca, your mother was a whore. Always sleeping around with everybody else and not me. I still want to see you end up the same way. If you ever talk about my mother like that again, I'll fucking kill you. I don't know why she stayed with you for the last year or so. Must have been feeling real desperate. You try anything, and I'll have your psycho ass committed. Do you think I don't know what those pills are that you take all the time? My mother told me it was some shit called IED. I just say, it's an excuse for a temper tantrum complex. <laughs> you know why my mother never fucked you? She said you couldn't get enough. Thanks for letting me stay with you for a bit, man. I really appreciate it. I'm all right. Oh, she didn't take her mother's passing real well. Said she wanted to be with her real family. I actually just dropped her off at the airport about an hour ago. Oh, I'm not sure. You know, me and her never really got along. I don't think I'll be seeing her anytime soon. Medical bills, man. They took everything we had and more. And honestly, I can't stand looking at this fucking place. Yeah, I figured I'd relieve myself of a bit of this burden. You know that school down the hill? Let's think about making some money off those fucking college pricks. Maybe help pay off some of these fucking bills. Oh, man, I'm probably gonna need most of it here. Even partially furnished is a nice incentive. What, little brother? I think I'm gonna have to let you go. 
I gotta get this place packed up before dark. Yep. Welcome to your new place. So, uh, going to that school down the hill, huh? Yep, first semester starts up in a couple weeks. Pretty excited. Oh, I bet you are. After you. Quick, just like your roommate up there. I just want to see a little blood on this. Mm. So much for therapy. <laughs> uh. 